Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in life. In this video, we are going to know how to get your first job as a data analyst. I will cover everything and anything that is required to become a data analyst being a fresher. So do not skip this video if you're someone who is just starting out as a data analyst and you want to move to a data analyst path or someone who has a gap year and you were in a non-tech role but you want to switch to data analysis. So this video will be quite helpful for you all and do not skip it. So first topic is your educational background. So you need to have a degree. It doesn't matter if you have a technical degree or non-technical degree but you must hold a certain degree that is a minimum expertise or qualification that is required to become a data analyst so you must have seen job description on nokri or linkedin or you haven't seen so let me tell you about must have a degree whether in arts or in economics it doesn't matter which kind of degree you have but holding a degree is mandate here so someone who has a gap year can also become a freelancer in this industry so you don't have to disappoint yourself there's always a way to find out just you need to start looking for it so talking about the skills that are required to become a data analyst it varies company to company but there are certain skills that remains constant which is excel sql whether power bi or tableau let me tell you one story there is a company called x which is employing certain number of people but they are asking for a skill called power bi but you have learned tableau so how would you cover that up what you can do is you can apply for that position there is nothing that you are going to be get harmed by just there is a different platform but the things that you've learned the kpis dimensions and etc etc things that you have learned through in uh, your tableau you will know all of these in power bi it just doesn't matter the platform if you have the knowledge of data visualization if you know how key performance indicator works in an analytics industry you will get that job primary skills i would ask you to learn is excel sql power bi or tableau or you can learn python as well but their libraries specifically numpy and pandas are required if you are working as a data analyst in some of the companies but some of them doesn't ask for it so it's completely a uh, plus point in your hiring next thing that i want to cover here is building a great resume so having a great resume always level up your chances of getting that interview calls and having that interview calls for getting a job is very very crucial here and uh, there are like 5 to 10% chances of you getting an interview call so keep on applying to nokri or on linkedin if you don't have any linkedin profile or nokri profile just create one because you are going to require as a it professional to have a linkedin profile so getting an interview call is very very difficult so you need to make a resume that is ats friendly that passes an ats score of at least 80 plus so if your resume score is 80 plus your chances of getting that interview call will always be increased by someone who has a uh, ats score of 50 so how this ats scans your resume it picks out certain keywords that job description has included so if you watch every day the job description of different different companies hiring for data analyst role you will realize that there are certain keywords that are present in those job description that are continuously getting repeated so if you put those repeated words in your resume your resume score will increase so that way you can increase your ats score or if your resume is um, just created in a manner that is very appealing to the recruiter so that way you will get the interview calls and if you want a video on resume i can curate those uh, in the next video uh, just let me know in the comment section below if you want that kind of video and i will create a step-by-step -step whole resume video so if you just have started applying to jobs on LinkedIn or on Nokri, or if you're searching for internship on Intern Shala or Indeed, Hire Shine, so there you will find uh, internships as well. But yes, getting that internship is pretty difficult. But I wouldn't say it's impossible because the success rate is quite low. So you will get that interview call for internship or your first entry level job. But it's uh, going to be a little difficult and you have to keep on having faith on yourself and keep applying on Nokri or on LinkedIn. And it's not just one and done. You have to apply to many, many jobs in in, uh, two three months then you will start getting calls and once you start getting calls you will get eventually more and more calls so it works like that do not lose hope if you're not getting that interview calls when you just started applying on linkedin or on okri it's not something that works like that so uh, be mindful while applying to jobs go to their company portal and directly apply to those jobs and i'm sure you will get those calls but it'll take a little longer to get so do not lose hope one more thing that you need to know here is a domain knowledge you should have a certain amount of domain knowledge while going to a certain domain data analyst for example i am a crm data analyst or crm business analyst so i have knowledge of crm which is a salesforce so i have a certain expertise that i know on that platform so that i could work on that particular crm domain and similarly there are healthcare data analyst or uh, finance analyst so you must have a additional skill required to become that kind of analyst and if you have that skill it becomes easier for you to get that data analyst job because there are default skills like excel sql power bi everyone knows but having a domain knowledge is always going to extend you in getting you hired as our data analyst so prepare for an additional skill. For example, if you are just starting out, you can become an operations analyst. You, you can develop 
proficiency on certain operation skills and there you will get the operations analyst role so similarly think wisely here and be mindful of what you're learning and check the jobs that are available for the skills that you have just started to learn if you're not sure about the skills that you have acquired these days so what you can do is a certain certification there are certification by google or ibm on coursera you can go through those certification one of them is a google data analytics professional certificate you can apply for that one if you're just a beginner or there is a certification called google advanced data analytics certification you can also go for that and there are certain certification on IBM as well for data analyst or data science role and you can go through those certification as well it's going to be pretty helpful for you in your analytics journey think about the people who have gap year so if you have a gap year more than three years two years what you can do is freelancing learn those skills and go for freelancing the website to go for freelancing are upwork fiverr and freelancing.com and you can always uh, keep on applying just i told you on nokri or on linkedin it uh, takes a while to get your first uh, gig there but eventually you start getting more and more so go for those platform as well they are not fake there are certain things that could be fake but the platform itself is not fake so be mindful of applying to your job and see whether uh, your recruiter is not asking for any money or anything before you start your job so that you need to be really really careful of but yeah there are genuine jobs present on uh, upwork fiverr or freelancing.com you can try those as well and even after applying to too many jobs you are not getting those interview calls what you can do is buy a premium of linkedin or nokri they will ultimately boost your profile and you will start getting interview calls then after so that thing works here so having cloud knowledge is quite good if you're starting out your career as a data analyst you can uh, switch to data engineer after two three years of experience in data analysis and uh, having those skill set going to be really helpful for you so you can learn aws google cloud or salesforce any cloud of your choice is going to be very crucial in your job next thing i would want to cover here is networking if you have a senior who is employed as a data analyst in a certain company you can ask for referral from them or if you are uh, just starting out you can search for internships there are many many platforms and uh, you can keep on applying to those because your chances of getting that internship gets increases when you are just a pass out and when you have internship you will not be considered as a complete fresher when you are applying for an experience level jobs so please do internship if you're just graduating it's going to be very good there are many many companies that hire people in bulk such as infosys tcs wipro cognizant so these are the companies that hire people in bulk and if you apply for internship in those companies your chances would be very very high than those of uh, going into a startup or smaller companies so keep looking to their uh, company portal and you will find out the certain kind of internship that are already available on those platforms you will have the chance of getting the job in, in uh, mnc there are isro or drdo internship you can directly go to their company website and apply for those internship there are uh, readily available sometimes so you will have the chance to get that internship for you there's one website wherein you can practice all the skills that you have learned is uh, kaggle and kaggle is a uh, specifically created for data science community so do not miss a chance to work on that platform and start creating your, your own project on that particular platform also there are certain youtube videos wherein you can create your portfolio project they have end to end project uh, created videos on those channels you can search those videos as well and you will learn a lot from them all right this was it for this video i hope you get that interview calls very soon uh, and i would be very very happy if you get that interview call for yourself and yeah this is it for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have any query suggestion or doubt you can write it in the comment section below i would highly appreciate your time in writing such comment and it really really makes me happy and yeah bye bye for now until we meet next